Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I have discovered something quite shocking on the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and total cryptocurrency market cap daily charts, an unconfirmed breakdown from month-long RSI setting supports that could actually be front-running a correction that could be occurring across the market right now. So this is very important. We need to look into this because we know that a pre-halving correction is very likely, and this might just be the beginning of it. Of course, it's unconfirmed, but there are things we need to discuss. There are things we need to look into. And if this was to be confirmed, this could be bad. So guys, let's look into it. Guys, I think there's about a 75% chance that Bitcoin could be in the process of seeing the beginning of a breakdown of this trend. Uh, and I think that we could be moving downwards quite shortly over the next day or two, beginning that move. The reason I'm coming to this conclusion in this video today is because of unconfirmed aspects of RSI breakdowns across the board on the Bitcoin chart, on the Ethereum chart, on the total cryptocurrency market gap chart, and even on Bitcoin dominance, which we're actually not looking at today. But I want to make something very clear. Everything I say in this video is unconfirmed. It is still catching my attention. It is still something I want to bring to your attention because I really wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised at all if it is to be confirmed. And we have to start this video by looking at the longer term analysis to give us context of why this breakdown would make sense. So looking at the monthly chart, and I want to keep this video short, by the way, looking at the monthly chart, we can see this line on the Ichimoku cloud, which is the baseline, right? This is the baseline of the Ichimoku cloud. And it's represented quite well here on the screen, as you can see in red. You can see very clearly that every time we've interacted with this line, we've done a very major thing on a cyclical level, or at least on a macro level, right? With every time we've been below it being a bear market, every time we're above it being a bull market. It's a very definitive line. It very distinctly uh, labels Bitcoin in bear markets and bull markets. And obviously dropping below it is a major deal for that case. And breaking above it is a major deal as well. And so right now, we're kind of testing it for resistance. Now, this is not good because obviously when you're testing a major, majorly strong level for resistance, you generally shouldn't be leaning that bullish. And that's why we haven't been leaning that bullish recently. Uh, but with that said, uh, we also need to consider that in 2019, which is the same part of the cycle we are in now, it's the pre-halving part of the cycle. It's after the Bitcoin bottom, right? But it's pre-halving. So it's kind of in that in-between phase of the cycle. 2019, it was a time in which we tested uh, this Ikimoku cloud baseline, and we rejected from it. We saw a week above it, we rejected from it, and started our pre-halving correction. Now, this is one of the reasons, uh, amongst others, by the way, that we've been suspecting that Bitcoin is quite likely to see a pre-halving correction. And for that reason, we've been suspecting that Bitcoin would close the monthly candle in December below 42K. Not necessarily as a prediction, but more of an observation of that would be the ideal scenario. We actually want to see Bitcoin, or I want to see Bitcoin, close the monthly candle below 42K because I think it's in the best interest of Bitcoin and in the best interest of us as investors for Bitcoin to maintain the maximal level of cyclical predictability. I don't think Bitcoin moving upwards is what makes us money. I think Bitcoin being predictable is what makes us money because at the end of the day, whether it's up or down, people lose money regardless, right? If Bitcoin is predictable, we know what's going to happen. That's when we can position ourselves, regardless of whether it's up or down, to make money regardless of the market direction. So I think with that said, it is favorable if Bitcoin closes below 42K because we'd be copying what we did in the previous cycle. And not only is it favorable, but it's very, very, very much a possibility because that's what we did in the previous cycle. And we have to remember Bitcoin acts cyclically, right? If something happened in the prior cycle, that's actually evidence in itself that's going to happen again. We also know that we are meant to see pre-halving corrections and with an 80% move upwards on Bitcoin without any single correction whatsoever, whether it be a short-term, medium-term correction, nothing, we know that, well, this would actually make a lot of sense to reject here, right? Not only is it something that would, would be good for us on a cyclical level, it'd be great to see, it also makes sense to see it. So we know that a correction from this region is a possibility uh, and we know that closing under 42K this month is a possibility. So with that said, and if you want more information on that, you can watch any of my previous videos in the last week, basically. But with that said, you know, a correction is on the table. That's for sure. And, and we don't need the monthly chart to come to that conclusion. We can also just look at a daily chart and just be logical, okay? Logically speaking, uh, a move upwards from 24K without any sort of correction whatsoever, 78% upwards, right? With, with, with descending volume the entire time, right? With RSI divergence, bearish RSI divergence for close to two months, right? This is not something that's a strong move. This is not something that has much uh, gas left in the tank, right? It's very clear that this move is coming towards an end. Now, as I've said before, I do see it as a possibility for Bitcoin to go up 40, to go upwards to 48K before rejecting. Uh, but 
That slightly looks a bit unlikely to me. It is a possibility. It's on the table. But realistically, if, I, if I'm being honest, we're looking at the charts honestly, uh, we would correct from here. The problem is the charts have said we will correct for quite a long period of time. They said we'd correct at 38.5k. We didn't correct. We went upwards. So there's a degree of kind of, we have to kind of understand that, well, Bitcoin is, is acting in a, in a bit of an irrational fashion. It's had exhaustive indicators for close to three months, right? Or close to two months, I should say. It's moved up with 78% without correction. We have to understand there is a chance we could just deny the TA even further and go upwards. But at the end of the day, we can't really trust uh, random chances and speculative measures based on sentences we say that have no meaning. We have to trust the charts. The charts say Bitcoin's exhausted. The charts say Bitcoin is in need of a pre-halving correction. The charts say Bitcoin's at major resistance. And the charts say, as of today, that Bitcoin could be seeing a breakdown. And this is where we get into the fresh information from today's analysis. It will come as absolutely no surprise to you that the RSI is very important for Bitcoin, okay? And I'm gonna illustrate this very clearly uh, in the charts here right now. So for example, RSI rejections, right? What, where have we rejected from the RSI? Okay, so we had an RSI descending resistance line right here going through from 2021. As you can see, uh, it stemmed backwards from December 2021. We rejected from it in the October 2021 top. It actually marked the bull market top. We rejected from it all the way down here, as you can see, uh, before the final drop down in the bear market. And we saw a bottom. And once we finally bottomed down on Bitcoin, once we finally saw the bottom at 15K, we broke above that RSI line and that led to the bottom being confirmed with, with us break, breaking above the macro resistance at 18K, right? So we could point out many, many occasions. That's just one example of RSI lines, resistance lines, support lines being very major in determining where Bitcoin is going to go. Another example would be over here. You know, descending resistance line uh, from 2021 in January, going right downwards, as you can see, on every single Bitcoin impulse to the upside, we hit the top of that resistance line. It, it marked the correction every single time, four times in a row, five, six, seven times in a row, actually, right? And we actually used this during the bull market to mark when Bitcoin was going to correct. We said, okay, look, uh, this line rejected us in both February and also January. We were over here in April. We said, okay, look, we're probably going to reject from this line again. We went downwards because of it, right? Even back here in June, all the way through to August and July, we rejected from that line consistently. And when we finally broke that resistance line to the upside, that is when we saw the second leg of the bull market. That is when we saw the surge from the July lows all the way to new all-time highs. You know, this is not just in the bull market. This is just moving forward in every single period of price action in Bitcoin's entire price history. These RSI lines, these resistance lines, support lines, they've existed every single time. You know, another line over here stemming from June 2023, uh, taking uh, resistance on multiple occasions. And when we finally got above it, right, we had a fake out here. But when we finally got above it, it led to the start of the September move. It was one of the reasons we were able to call the September move and buy in Bitcoin before we broke up which above major resistance, before we started this move. Uh, you know, we bought Bitcoin up on the breakout of this RSI line here. And that triggered the move. We've gone up with 79% without correction because of that. So the fact of the matter is these RSI lines are very, very, very important. And they do predict where Bitcoin is going to go. They do, generally speaking, front run their correction or the impulse to the upside. So right now we have to understand we have a triangular formation on the RSI. And we at the same time, we have price formations, right? We have this uh, support line here in the price chart, this support line over here. But we have, most importantly, this triangular formation in the RSI. An RSI line that's seen three separate retests, in, in fact, four separate retests, one here in October, one here in November, two separate retests in December, and one today. And we have to understand, well, this line, believe it or not, and whether you want to believe it or not, the fact of the matter is it's breaking to the downside right now. It's an unconfirmed break. It has not occurred yet because there's been no daily candle close yet. So it's an unconfirmed break. It could be a fake out, but we have at this point in time broken this, broken this support line to the downside. Okay. Again, we can see fake outs. Fake outs do occur. It's not impossible for this to be a fake out, but the fact of the matter is we are below that line. The fact of the matter is that is a very strong support line. We are below it currently. It's not a good sign. It's not a good indication for Bitcoin. Not only is it not a good indication for Bitcoin, but it's also reflected in Ethereum. Ethereum has the exact same support line on the RSI and it is broken to the downside. As you can see, it's unconfirmed break. We haven't closed below it yet, but that is a breakdown. Same thing with total cryptocurrency market cap. A support line, unconfirmed break, hasn't confirmed yet, but it's broken to the downside. So in understanding that the RSI is extremely important for Bitcoin, we also have to look at the RSI and where, is it at, where it is at right now. And we have to understand, well, we're actually in the midst of a breakdown right now. Yes, it's unconfirmed. 
Yes, we could turn around, but the fact of the matter is, generally speaking, these breakdowns on RSI, these break upwards on RSI, have front run the move. So it's not un, you know it's not unlikely at all here, given the cyclical context, given the fact that we could be seeing a pre halving correction. In fact, it's likely we will see a pre halving correction at some point. It's not unlikely that this move is starting now. It's not unlikely the correction is starting now. And it's not unlikely that this RSI breakdown, although unconfirmed, could be the start of a larger move to the downside to something like 39k, to something like 38.5k, even to something like 35k. That's not an unlikely scenario. So I want to be clear here, although it's unconfirmed, and it is unconfirmed, right? These are not confirmed breakdowns yet. This is something you rarely need to watch out for upon this daily candle close in the next 20, 12 hours. And if this close does occur, if we do get this close below these RSI lines here, that's something we really need to uh, strongly consider over the coming days and potentially start to take things like short positions, potentially start to target uh, lower support lines on Bitcoin and on Ethereum and total cryptocurrency market cap as well. So it's very important we keep uh, watching this. It's very important we keep this on our, on our radar uh, and see how it progresses. If we do get these breakdowns, I would suspect that that would be the start of a medium-term correction on Bitcoin that would end up making Bitcoin close below 42K in December and would end up uh, confirming uh, this as a cyclical trend, which, which would actually be a good thing. I want, I want to be very clear here. I'd love when Bitcoin goes upwards. I love being bullish on Bitcoin, of course, but I want Bitcoin to remain as cyclically predictable as possible. And um, I think a breakdown here would actually be a good thing. I think a correction here would be a good thing. I think it'd be healthy for Bitcoin on a cyclical scale. As I said, it's unconfirmed yet. Uh, there are things that could throw Bitcoin off. For example, the golden cross on the weekly chart. We've never seen a golden cross occur on the weekly chart before. That's when the 200 week SMA closes below the 50 week SMA. The green line closes below the red line. You can see they're coming together right now. It will be happening within the next couple of weeks. That's something we've never seen before. And so with something we've never seen before comes a degree of unpredictability. We also have the ETF decision coming soon. So there's a few things that could throw Bitcoin off. I'm not sitting here and making predictions on Bitcoin today. I'm merely pointing out that something very major could be occurring. This could be the start of it and we have to watch. So guys, thank you for watching. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you need an exchange to trade cryptocurrency on, you can check out Bing X and BitGet. The links are below with my referral link there for a 15% trading fee discount. They're both exceptional exchanges. They're handpicked by myself, very low trading fees. Uh, Bing X is global non-KYC, BitGet is global KYC minus the USA, so anywhere but the USA. Check them out, again, my links are below. Crypto Academy will teach you how to trade. If you want to learn how to trade, this course is the one for you. Become a trader, 10 unit course, developed by myself and Megawell Crypto. Uh, 10 units, university style format, videos, worksheets, slideshows, all you need to learn how to trade. Uh, looking at market patterns, candlestick formations, market psychology, everything. And the email address is there for contact information. And finally, guys, the VIP group on Telegram. We trade altcoins on VIP. I give direct altcoin trading signals in video format uh, four times a week, three or four times a week, usually four. Uh, and in those trades, we've managed to gather an 80.5% win rate, which is absolutely exceptional. The PDF of all the trading results is there. It's fully transparent. And 14-day free trial information is down below as well. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Cheers.